Bernoulli's equation. Solve the differential equation y prime equals y minus x y cubed times e to the negative 2x. Okay, so first we write y prime as dy over dx. So we have dy over dx equals y minus x times y cubed times e to the negative 2x. And then you want to write this so that it will be in the standard form for Bernoulli's equation. Then we subtract y both sides of the equation. We have dy over dx minus y equals negative x times y cubed times e to the negative 2x. And then on the right side of the equation, we just rearrange the factors here so that we will have negative x times e to the negative 2x multiplied by y to the power of 3. So this is now what is called a Bernoulli's equation. We have dy over dx plus p of x times y equals q of x times y to the n. So here, our p of x will be negative 1 times y, this one. Then our q of x will be this one inside the parenthesis. And then y to the n is y cubed. That means our n is equal to 3. Next, we are going to transform this into a first order linear differential equation by multiplying the whole equation by y to the negative 3. We have y to the negative 3 dy over dx minus y to the negative 2. So that's 1 minus 3 is minus 2. And then on the right side of the equation, we only have minus x times e to the 2x. So if we don't have this coefficient here and the exponent here is 1, that should be a first order linear differential equation. So what we do next is we let v equals y to the negative 2 and our dv equals negative 2 times y to the negative 3 dy. Or our y to the negative 3 dy is equal to negative dv over 2. So we'll just multiply or divide the whole equation by negative 2 and when, then we get this one here. So now this y to the negative 3 dy, which is this one, can be substituted with negative dv over 2. And this y to the negative 2 will now be v. So we have the first term is minus dv over 2 dx. The second term becomes minus v equals the right side of the equation, which is still minus x times e to the negative 2x. Then we will multiply the whole equation by negative 1 so that we have this equation, which is now a first order linear differential equation. Our dependent variable is v. So from here, we can define our p of x, which is just equal to this one, 2. And our q of x is the right side of the equation, which is 2 times x times e to the negative 2. Then we want to solve for P o, the integral of p of x dx, which is equal to the integral of 2 times dx or equal to 2 times x. So from here, we can solve our integrating factor. So the integrating factor is e to the integral of p of x dx, which is 2x. So we have our integrating factor equal to e to the 2x. Then we are going to multiply this to the standard form or we'll just use the formula uv or u being the integrating factor times b, the dependent variable, equals u times u of x dx. So u, which is e to the 2x multiplied by b, this one, equals the integral of u, which is e to the 2x, times q of x, which is this one here, times dx. Next, we multiply e to the 2x times e to the negative 2x, which will give you e to the 0 or 1. Okay, and then we write the constant here. So we have 2 integral of what's left here is just x. So 2 times integral of x dx, which is just equal to x squared over 2. So, we now have 2 times x squared over 2 plus c. So, we can cancel 2 
Then we have e to the 2x times b equals x squared plus c. Now, v is, where is it? v is this one. v is equal to y to the negative 2. Okay, so I multiply e to the 2x times y to the negative 2 equals x squared plus c. So we want to eliminate the negative exponent here. You can do that by multiplying the whole equation by y square. So if we multiply the whole equation by y square, this times this will have y to the 0, which is just 1. So our final answer is e to the 2x equals y squared times the quantity x squared plus c.